Trump, mental episodes, hypocrisy, and MAGA Nation candidates. Oh, we have an emerging story on a manic Monday. But before I get to that in a few seconds, let's remember Donald J. Trump is only three years younger than Joe Biden. And as we get to this breaking story today, let's take a moment and remember where we're at with regards to diminishing Donald's mental acuity, shall we? Donald Trump has sort of been decomposing in front of our eyes for so long, it's hard to track the trajectory. I mean, he is, after all, the guy who talked about shining UV light inside people's orifices or alternately injecting bleach in order to cure them of COVID. He said that in public uh, from the White House podium. I rewatched that clip today and it drove home to me how all the stupidity, insanity, hostility of Donald Trump's term has been kind of sanded down to just goofy in a lot of people's remembrances. Today, in a column titled Trump is Losing It, New York Times opinion columnist Jamel Bowie compared Trump's feebleness to the breathless coverage of President Biden's age. Quote, Biden may be unable to do the job at some point in the future. Trump, it seems to me, already is. One of those is a lot more concerning than the other. Because if we're going to have a discussion about age and gaffes and speech and mental competence, then we need to talk about Trump and we need to talk about this. The Mueller report, I wish, covered the oranges, how it started. In the failing New York Times by an anomalous, really an anomalous, gutless coward. They sacrifice every day for the furniture and future of their children. Apple. Mike Pounds. I know words. I had the best words. Yosemites. Yosemites. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oranges, furniture, Yosemites. Oh my. But there's more. I'm a very stable genius. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute. One minute. And is there a way we can do something like that? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, by injection. I tested positively toward negative, right? 19, 20, 21, 22. Well, the president's on pause here. We're going to kind of... They had to cut away. Back in. Thank you, everybody. Yes, I <laughs> The man froze. Yeah, I think the stable genius might need some more disinfectant to find his own way out of his White House. But in this breaking story, straight out of New Jersey, Republican Senate candidate Curtis Bashaw has now joined the Trump totally lost train. I think that we need to make sure that we are dealing with affordability in a, in a sensible way. You okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to? I think maybe we need to take a commercial break. And as sad and hypocritical as that is, oh, the GOP and MAGA will just make an excuse for it or say it's a glitch or a blip or it doesn't matter. No matter what any of them do, it comes from the top. And when you have a man who does things like this and isn't disqualified, that's where we're at. Genius hypocrisy ain't it grand. Folks, Harris Walls, and listen to Obama. Don't boo. Vote.